Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part three of our series of video as part of our playlist, Tally's latest release 7.0. So in the last couple of videos, we saw the highlights of release 7.0. And in the last video, we saw the various options and features that are made available for auto backup. In this video, I'm going to cover the first live tally demo of auto backup where for the first time you have to take a full backup. So let us go to tally and explore how are we going to set up the full backup on the tally drive. The first action for backup is taking a one time backup. Remember, we can now take backup on tally drive or on your local storage device. An important point to remember is that all your existing companies must be migrated to release 7.0. Hence, take a precautionary local backup because once you migrate the data to release 7.0, it cannot be reverted to the previous releases. While migrating, Tally will ask for a backup. Select your backup location and then proceed with the migration. Now Tally provides an option to pause the migration process. This option is helpful for larger data sets. Let us now migrate these two companies that is Ganesh G Limited and Potential Solutions Private Limited. Select migration required for Ganesh G Limited. Enter. And here you have this option where if you want to take a backup before migrating, you can configure to select your backup path also. So if you don't want to take a backup, just click on configure, press enter, backup company will be set to no. You can just press escape and now click on migrate, the data will get migrated. Since the data is very small here, the migration is quite fast. But in case of a larger data, like I mentioned, if you want to pause in between, you can pause the migration also. Let us select the other company also. Select this again, click on configure, enter no, control Q to quit and migrate. We have migrated both the companies. To take the first backup, click on data here and select backup restore. First, let us log into Tally Drive. So once you log in with the credentials, the credentials will be retained for the entire time unless you do not close tally. Let's log in, enter your TallyNet ID, press enter and now you'll have to enter the password. In case if you forget your password, no worries. All you can do is click here to reset password where you will get a password reset link to your registered TallyNet mail ID. Let me enter the password. So you get an information that you have successfully logged in. You can now use Tally Drive services. Just press any key. So we have now logged in to the Tally Drive. To take backup, click on data here, select backup restore, then choose backup. Notice the backup data path by default, Tally will select Tally Drive. If you want to change the path to the local storage location, all you have to do is just press backspace and then you can click on select from drive here and select your folder from any of this location. Or you can specify a path and create a new folder for backup on your local storage device. So let us take a backup on Tally Drive. Tally will now list companies in your configured default folder. So let us select Ganesh G Limited and Potential Solutions Private Limited for backup. Select end of list. As part of security measure, Tally will ask if you want to set a backup password. If you do not wish to set a backup password, you can continue by selecting no. Once you press enter, you will get this message. It says you have not enabled backup password. Enabling it ensures that only users with the password can restore the backup. Do you want to continue with enabling backup of password? If you click on yes, you can move forward. When you click no, you can come back and then 
enter the password. In case you forget the password, you can enter the email address here to receive a recovery key to this address, then accept the screen. So let us select new address and select email ID, enter and accept the screen. So now you have to log in, enter. And since we have already entered the password, it is not asking for the password. And we saw how quickly the backup was taken. To view the backup, to check whether Tally is already backed up, again, click on data, click on backup and restore. Now click on manage Tally drive. All you have to do is just select and Tally will automatically open your Tally drive dashboard. This is the Tally drive dashboard. You will notice that both the companies have been backed up, date and time of backup, and also the backup size. You will also notice that based on the Tally license type, the free space of Tally drive can be viewed here. Now, since mine is a single user license of Tally, which is Tally Silver, I get one GB of free space available. And of that, this is the backup size and this is the remaining space that is available. And it also mentions the storage validity, which I had mentioned in my previous video. We will also get a mail once the backup is completed along with the recovery key. Let us just quickly check the mail. So this is the mail that we have received from Tally. It says the backup of your company with backup password was initiated. And this is the recovery key which says in case you forget the backup password, you can use the recovery key to restore the data. And it says to restore your backup using recovery key, copy and paste the above key in the backup password field during restoration in Tally Prime. In the next video, we will learn how to schedule backup. I hope this video will help you to start backing up your data on a regular basis with the auto backup. So you saw the first full backup, how it has to be taken and subsequent videos, I will cover the other options that are available for backup. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.